Yeah, I already know the vibes. It's that Don Dusty nigga going hard. And yeah, come roll with us on, you know, the Bootleg Cat Podcast. Get it, get it. All right, yo, man, it's the Bootleg Cab Show. We got a special guest in here, my guy, Dusty Locaine. <laughs> yeah, Finally yeah, made yeah. it out to L.A., made man. Made it, we here. From the floss to, to, to North Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? Hello. Welcome, bro. Hey, uh, you know, I got to go out to um, Canarsie and, 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 and function with you and your people. Um, I got to check out your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. We went to the studio. Five. Went to the studio. We did a lot that day. Yeah, went man. To the I, Chinese food spot. Yeah, a lot, man. You know, I was I've been telling a lot of people that you really are sitting on some like serious records because I think the rolling and controlling freestyle people, it's like a it's it's, it's a record that you either gonna love it or you ain't gonna rock with it. You ain't gonna fuck. You know what I'm saying? But it's you a, got a, some a, big yeah. records that you're just like that. You're you played me probably like 20 songs and they were, I mean, bruh. Salute is all I'm gonna say. Once you start dropping, I mean, I know you just dropped. Uh, you, we got two new records out in the last. Uh, um, Move Dolly, Roll Pete. You yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that um, record was dope. I rolled in the controlling part too. But you got some joints. You got some. And you know what's crazy? You never heard rolling the controlling part. Two I didn't hear that song. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't remember. I ain't make it. Mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't make it yet. When I met you, I made that shit like probably about two weeks before we dropped it in Atlanta. So that's a fresh, a fresh one. Yeah, so we sort of we broke the whole order for that shit. Cause it's well, like, well, I want people to understand that you could really make real records. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some records, bro. That uh, I mean, it's gonna make the Empire Radio staff ex- their job extremely easy whenever they come out. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's keep it like that. Well, who is? Um, how is it being in LA? I saw you were. I mean, obviously, for people who don't know, uh, rolling and controlling. Shout out to the rolling sixties. Neighborhood, rolling 60 shit. Straight from allegedly, 60s. allegedly. 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 <laughs> um, back with that. Allegedly, you know that. But yeah. yeah my neighbors. But but you you actually came out here and, and, and tapped in with, you know, the the, the origins of, 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 of the rolling 60s. I saw, you know, on your IG story, you were over there uh, yesterday shooting a video. Yeah, slow, slow, um, going out, uh, How was that, man? Shit, that shit was, to me, it's life changing, you know, because. I was talking I to that seen, mic. I was get that mic oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, I you seen, good. you know, I seen all this shit on like YouTube and um, movies, but I ain't never been nowhere like that. Like they really from the same shit, just a different hood. You see what I'm saying? Like it's different city, different state. So it was like me going there. I felt right at home. Like niggas, they show me love. Like I knew them all my life. Phones. Yeah, I mean you're holding so you're holding down the uh you know the the, the set on yeah, the other side. Live nip on the dead homies. Allegedly, you know, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Nip though, man. Um, how was that though? Like, cause I think L- a lot of people, you know, L. A. Obviously, you know, the, the the origins of a lot of gangs are here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, did you always have like big homies that were out here or like before? Nah, not be- you know, I only knew the neighborhood niggas from East Coast, right? You know, but. More or less, through this rapping, it tapped me in with. Well, really, let me be real. You got to be tapped in with somebody if you East Coast cripping, jacking the West Coast. You feel right, me? Right, 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 Set. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I heard of them. Feel me? Names was brought up to me, but I ain't get to actually be around and shit. So that in itself, for me, was such a big thing. Like, for them to really take me in with no embrace, problems. Embrace you. Embrace me fully. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I felt like I said right at home. Home away from home. That's amazing. For people who don't know, you play basketball. Yeah, who? Facts. Um, that was that. That was your original like dream was to to do the that basketball was my thing. Go-to. That was your original thing, right? Yeah. yeah How was, far did you get hooping? Um, JUCO. So junior college. Juco junior college. Only did like a, a semester and a half. And it was after that. Semester and a half, and then yeah. it was it was, it right. was back to Canarsie. Good. Where'd you play <laughs> junior college at? Um, SUNY Jefferson, two uh, year upstate. So that's upstate New York, from Canada. Oh shit! Boy, like thirty minutes from Toronto. So you was like right at the border. Yeah. Right there, man. Did you ever go over to Holy Toronto? Shit. Hell no. 
I heard it's hard to get into Canada. If you if you're like, I, I heard it's, it's it's easier to get into Mexico than it is to get into Canada. I heard they don't fuck around at the Canadian there. border. Yeah, I I didn't even I ain't even go by it. You was you were telling me yo, you got to go drive there. I ain't have no call. Right. So it's not like I was you feel me. I was just like I heard about it. We thirty minutes away. Fuck it. Fuck it. Thanks. So once you left college, came back to your neighborhood. Um, what point in time? I mean, obviously you are around that area your whole life, but at what point in time did you really start to get kind of active in the quote unquote, you know, your, your area as far as, you know, bas- around, basketball's in your past, you know? Well, like I said, I was always jacking it even before that I was it. Like, you know, it was always, like I said, it was something that was in me, not on me. So I jacked Crip before I was Crip. I walk around with a flag around my head, take the train, all of that. Right, right, I right, was right. even on the set. Feel me? Like, that was just, it was just, like I said, it was something, it was just, I, I fucked through the heavy, like, I fucked with the, with the, with the whole culture, and I was from, I'm from there, so it's like, it was a no-brainer by the time I turned, like, 17, 18, it was like, yeah. feel me, we fully active, man. That yeah, area, like, that, you know, that was kind of the area, like, that, that was where you grew up was, was, was kind of, that was the, the section that it was, was essentially, that was around you anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was already. It wasn't like I could have avoided it. Right, right, feel right. Me? right. I ain't go to no private, no private schools, or I was in public schools. You feel me? And I was in one of the, one of the, one of the bad high schools too at that public school. So, feel me? But um, more or less, yeah, I'm a product of my environment. But I, I flipped the script. You know what I'm saying? Like, not for sure, man. You gotta, you gotta take what they try to use to hold you back and let it push you forth. So. That's what I did. That's what you're doing, man. For people who don't know, how I mean, wh- when did you actually start rapping? Like, it was in the pandemic, right? Yeah, no, no, no. That's when two words because I got locked in the pandemic. But like, I used to just boom, like I said, I had a man's bandit, jugger. They was rappers. Feel me? Right. I was doing what I was doing. My ones and tools. I was. I was never a rapper. I wasn't into that. But um, they would tell me, "Yo, pull up." Feel me? I'll go smoke. Cool it, feel me, bun a little, one, two, junsy, drink a little. And after that, I'll just be chilling. And then if they get tired, I right, try some shit. Right, right, right. You right. got the look, you got the voice, go do that shit, cuz. So, right, I'll try it. But I never I never really took to it. You know? Like, it was just like, that's just something there. Yeah. I never really yeah. do that. So I never put out a track. I'll say before, Corona had about four tracks. And like it was mainly features, and the other ones was just dumb shit. Like one time I was mad drunk, I just made a freestyle, barely any words. These were, in are it. These, these were online. I ain't never dropped nothing. So they were just on your phone. It was on my phone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And niggas are being in the car, head out the window, right, 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 right. So right. like, it's the littest track, but niggas always took to my shit because niggas know what I'm talking about. And you feel me? That's really what it is. So, but I'll say when I really say, yeah, it's, it's that time. It was like. Corona, two words came home. Right after that, I linked up with my boy Bobby on six so. And that was uh, Ro- Rolling Controlling. Was that your first official release? Mm-hmm. Like my first official release, and on top of that, you know, it was a real like from beginning to end freestyle. All yeah. off the top of your head. <laughs> six so. You, and the way it happened, like it's just I heard the beat. I'm thinking to myself, this shit is crazy. Right. I told my man, run it back. Put down my phone right there. Put the recorder down. Went straight through. That's crazy. And at that time, where, like, you know, the because at the time you didn't have a following, you know what I'm saying? What, what I was no social media. That's what I'm saying. What, what, what platform did that really start to heat up on? Oh, let me, that's a story too. I never really got to, you know, tell nobody. But when I first came home, I got into a little situation with some, huh? we're not going to say names, but with some, uh, I'll say, not the other side, but people who was portraying to be the other side. Okay. And um, I wanted to, do something about it, but you know, Malcolm, they telling you to chill, cause like, yeah, don't even go that route. Feel me? Smart move. So I went on a love, my man's love on Facebook at the time. Facebook. Oh, yeah, feel me? I, I still ain't had, I have no social media, so I went on his phone, went on his shit. We did for like a good, I'll say about two and a half hours. We in the telly <clears throat> that night, niggas is old. We just chilling. Some bitches was about to pull up, so we t- we on we on the love shit, and then it just started jinking. Like at one point, it had like. 700 um, viewers, and overall it had 32,000 at the end of it. Like On the I, Facebook Live. Yeah, on the Facebook Live. So people were saying, like, yo, 
Bro, me they, oh, look at this dark skin, and uh, talking politics, listen to his voice, mad shit. Right. For me, it was mainly the females, though. You know, yeah. like, niggas they ain't never going to be the first ones to gravitate, especially when no, it's always the women. Doing yeah, better of than course, them. of course. They're going to most likely hate. They're going to be haters, yeah. Ten, so the females really, that's my, the females and the kids, I would say is who I really look to and appreciate the most. Because niggas be bandwagon. They, they just, oh, now the bitches is all around him. Now we got to be around him. Cause we want some pussy too, like of course. Feel me? So it's like them two sex, and them my niggas, of course. Of but course. anything outside of that, I, I, I show my respects to the females, the kids. Feel me? But um, yeah, jinked from there it was like niggas like, yo, make an Instagram, make an Instagram, make an Instagram. Right, I made it June twenty seventh. I still got the first. I got it in my all child, but you could see it said you feel me June twenty seventh. is was my first post. So that was your first post, and and what day? What day did you put rolling and controlling out? Oh no! What day was that? Late, Late July. July. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and I ain't really have no. I have faith in it because through you know, like I said, through Bobby, I was able to get signed, but it wasn't like he knew I had it in me. Right. I'm just like I ain't never do this before, but I'm going head. I'm going head first. Like I ain't thinking about right, nothing, right, right, but. Right, right. In the back of my mind, it's like, damn, this is something new to me. I, I got high hopes. So if this shit don't go the way I expect it to go, it's not going to break me. It's going to make me go even harder. But at the same time, it was like, this got to be it. This has to be it. What was – Bobby could probably answer this better than you can, but he's standing over here. But I'm curious because at the time, you had no music out. You just created an Instagram account. So for someone like Bobby Fisher from Empire to step out and, like, Really see something in you, to me. you see what I'm saying? Like, like that's that 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 doesn't happen nowadays often. It's yeah, e it's easy to come in when something's already on fire and pour gasoline on it, mm -hmm. but it's it's hard. Well, it's harder to start the fire. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Feel me? So, like I said, that's somebody who believed in me before anybody else did around me. He's seen it. Feel me? And like that to me was the biggest, the biggest, you know, thing somebody could ever do for me. I was. Pop broke, ain't had no breaches, still in the people in my people's crib. I was by my brother, matter of fact, when I came home, went back to my people's crib and shit, but you know, a nigga ain't had no real options. He gave me an option, but I presented myself as, you know, me. Yeah. And he said, I see that, I see, this is him. You feel me? Like, this who he is from the time we wake up, time we go to sleep. Feel me? It's, it's nothing changes about him. So, like I said, Bobby, that's, that's me and my, we gonna be together. Man, yeah, and you guys have. I mean, he's. I mean, you guys got. I think that at the moment you probably have a a lot of generic fans who probably see you on Instagram, who probably are your naysayers. I'd say, who you know, because they, they they you got you got a few records out, but I, I think that. Oh yeah, they what, don't know. What's the, they yeah. don't know what's coming. But those who not tuned, you got to tune them in. That's up to me. That yeah, for sure. Nobody else but me to say, well, look, I'm gonna show you what I'm made of and what I'm capable of. Everything take time, though, so that's why I ain't really rush nothing. You can never say you see me try to force it. For me, I waited my turn. Through everything I ever did in life, I always waited my turn. That was a constant for me. So when everybody was politicking on Instagram, this, he trying to be this yeah. thing, he trying to do this, I was working. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it did come the time now for me to perform, there was no, there's no flaws there. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure when nobody's looking is when you doing that. So when now they all looking... There is no denying it. Right, 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 right. I think, too, a lot of people who would be in your position, because you obviously get compared so much to Pop Smoke, who's mm -hmm. from your from your area. Going the cars. You guys, so you guys went to elementary school together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are from the same hood. Like, I think that a lot of people would run from that, but I feel like you've paid a lot of respect and also have take the, taken on the challenge of saying, yes, you know, maybe I was inspired by Pop. Of course. But at the same time, I'm going to show you I'm my own dude. Me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Inspirations is all around you. And you should look to them as motivation. Nothing less, nothing more. Feel me? Like, I watch other people portray, you know, like certain things. Like, yeah, we was this, we was that. And no actuality using that for clout. You trying to get your own name up based off another person. Nah, I'm paying my respects. But through, like I said, my work ethic and my drive, you're going to see how we separate, how we differ. Yeah, but, but in all actuality, we wanted the same. Feel me? Floss or die. One way in, no way out. Niggas know that. There what? it is, man. There, Yeah, for people who don't know, your area, Canarsie, is an area that 
um, is probably one of the least known outside of New York. You know, we're in L.A. We hear Brooklyn. We know what Brownsville is. We know, we know what. what well, yeah, but I feel like Canarsie probably has gotten the least it amount. Was overlooked. Of, we was overlooked for, for a long, long time. time. Yeah, and we was doing. We was the ones getting most of the money. Feel me? We was the ones behind a lot of other shit too. But you know, niggas kept that low profile. Like I said, Pop brought us to the light. Feel me? He said, "Well, look, there's niggas over here giving it up the same way niggas is over there." You feel me? And we just, I'm just another person who gonna prove that. Um, the when the, the name the floss was that came from a fabulous record, right? I believe so. And fabulous said, it. I, don't, "I don't think he, it's said, he said it. In, he, he said it in he the said line. The floss, he or some shit like that." Op was remember? Yeah, he told OP, me that. He told he's, the told yeah, yeah. he's the one who told us. Yeah, I ain't. He's the one who told us. I just that. know floss is the floss because that's what we do. Yeah, you know that's what we do day in day out. From even before I was flossing like this, I was flossing. For me, so it's not really what's on you. Like I said, it's in you. Yeah, and yo, it's crazy. I had Big U sitting in that same chair, and he said that. He said, it, it, I don't got no tattoos. And, you know, Big U is a legendary figure in the streets. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He said, it's it's, it's it's in me. It ain't on me. That's why. You know what I'm saying? That's some real like shit. That. That's the true words. Hey, interrupting the interview to tell you about our good friends at Odd Socks. Now, as you can see, I always have my Odd Socks on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shout out to my bony-ass knees. Um, listen, go to oddsocksofficial.com. They got all the craziest socks. These are the outsiders. You know what I'm saying? They got SpongeBob. They got Cheech and Chong. Listen, Breaking Bad, Godfather, whatever you need, they got it. And now they have underwear. That's right. You can get your Odd Socks underwear. The boxer briefs are the best underwear that you could ever fit on your ass. Trust me when I tell you. These are Chucky draws. What you know about top ramen underwear, all right? Go to oddsocksofficial.com. Use the keyword Bootleg Kevin, check out, and you'll save 20% off of, of your order. Underwear, masks, slippers, socks, whatever you need, they got it. Oddsocksofficial.com, keyword bootleg Kevin, check out, save 20%. Um, what is next? Like, I know you, you, you're sitting on a lot of records. Are we just doing the single thing for now? Yeah, we're gonna keep Dropping it singles? We're going to keep it that way. I told um, everybody Life of a Five, which is the album name, it will be dropping. What I said, June 11th? My C day? But yeah, that's coming up. But that's no longer. Feel me? We gonna we okay. gonna we gonna postpone that due to the fact that every time we go in that studio, some new shit <laughs> and some shit that you just can't can't make up. You just gotta be there to just know, like, damn. So the album's not coming out June eleventh anymore. No, no. To let everybody know, no, it is not. So to be determined. To be determined. Oh, you know, it's crazy because I feel like uh, you're getting uh, better. At your craft, like people don't realize you just started rapping, man. This shit is crazy. Like for people who don't know, like man, like there's people who do this shit for twenty years and won't even Plus. sniff the level of success that you got off your first record. So do you feel like every time you you, you it's, it's almost like riding a bike. You're gonna get better every time. You feel like you're improving as an MC. Yeah, most definitely. I think you know what it is. Like I said, with everything I done did it in my life mm -hmm. overall, it was always about getting to newer heights. Basketball. I started out the back of the line. Right. By my 11th senior grade year, I was a star player. Everybody knew my name in the school. That was, that was just, it was just like, it was always something of mine. I can't fit in. I got to stand out. For that, you got to work. My work ethic and my determination stems from basketball, stems from sports. I played football too growing up. But it stems from all of that because, you know, you got to be disciplined. Yeah, and also themselves you go to too. Practice, even when wake you up there, early, yeah. You know, and, and man, me, I was working out day in and day out, eating day in and day out. So I was telling myself, you and themselves, push ups, I'm not stopping till my body can't stop, not my mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind to tell your body to stop when you could really keep going. So I just, that's how I, I learned, and that, that works with everything. That's not just for what you're doing. You got to take that outside of everything you're doing and use it in every walks of life. So that's what I try to do. How long were you locked up? Not long. It was I was remanded. Okay, remanded okay. is a seventy two hour hold, but through the corona that was lifted. Uh, they no longer so I was just in there. Feel me? And they didn't allow me to post my bail, so my lawyer was just fighting for motions, motions, motions. Feel me? And, and I never really got in until Is that finally. is that are you are you past whatever situation? Nah, not really I don't really just be talking about that shit, but Listen, I know That's what it's. I know what it's like to have a fucking case floating over your head. That should, if you think about it too much, it'll get it'll fuck never with think you. About it. Only reason I don't think about it is because my understanding that you know, you got whatever you do, you, there's repercussions behind it. Of course, 
And if you're not willing to accept, accept those, you can't be called a man. Grown men know that there's repercussions and one day or the other, you may have to face those. Um, without getting too far deep into the uh, politics of what's going on in Brooklyn, you know, there's a, a, a very, uh, you know, if, if, for people who've never even sniffed Brooklyn, they know about the politics of the streets that's going on between, we won't even say, right? Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. there's but there's a lot of, um, it's spilled over into rap, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. There's rappers on both sides. People have gotten stabbed. It's it's, it's crazy. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, you're someone who, obviously, man, you're special. You you have a star quality. Um, and there's there's been so many artists that we've lost over some bullshit, right? And you know, obviously, in Pop's case, it it, it wasn't. It was out here. It was you know, it was it wasn't over some shit from back home, but. But is that something that you're very like conscientious of when it comes to just moving around? Because you never know, you know, you might run into somebody at yeah, yeah, Brooklyn like Chop I House or something. Or, you know what I'm saying? Too. Like my pa paranoia is really what keep me sane. Like me always being on go, always watching my surroundings. It, it, it put me in a place where I know I right, well. If I was like a days ago with this, it's a possibility this could happen. But I'm. Always gonna be on it, so nothing could happen. And then again, there's times that you was on it and something happened. So then that's where the surrounding right. group of niggas come in. You know, your gang, your brothers, they gotta be the ones to step on niggas next before they even get the chance to get to a nigga like me. You right, see what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Cause you know what I stand on when you see me. You feel me? I'm not I'm not wish washy. The way you met me that first time is the way you're gonna meet me every time. So, like I said, people will know, like, oh I right, well, feel me here, yeah, this nigga. He got it. But then let's check and see who else around him is on that shit. Make sure everything is, you know, copacetic or what they say it is. I know your family's still in uh, Canarsie. I know you're still in Canarsie. Yeah. But at the same time, I see you in Miami, Atlanta all the time. Have you considered leaving New York? <laughs> yeah. Getting of the, course. Get, get I, the fuck out the way is what I'm saying. Of course. Of course. It's 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 in motion. Miami's know? gotta be the play. I feel like Miami's just the women and the strip clubs and the no state tax and the coronavirus never existed there apparently. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, facts. I don't, just gotta stay tuned to find out where I go. But right now I'm still on the fifth. What's your favorite city, uh Miami. outside Miami? Miami and Atlanta. Atlanta's something where it's mo like I say most of my biggest tracks was made. I love Atlanta, man. What what's uh are you a strip club guy? Like did you participate in, in strip clubs in both cities? Miami, I, yeah, Miami, I, Miami, I tore that shit up. But okay, what's the spot what's your, what's the spot in Miami that you like your, is your favorite? Because there's there's the spot on what's the shit booby trap on the river? I need more I just this is how I feel right now about that. There's Tootsies where you can get the Hold fried on, lobster let me, tail. Let me say this game. Yeah. Niggas need to show more love before I shout out any strip club word to my mother. Okay. That's it. When I went in anybody's strip club, I show love. That's fair. Tell me so. Yeah, I ain't getting no shadows for no strip clubs. Oh, boy. But you part, you, you you know you, you'll dabble in in a uh, in some strip strip strippy activities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We dipping the devil. We'll They're better something. than you know what I, I can't stand. Even when New York was open, the strip clubs is all, is all about bartenders. So like the actual strippers is kind of whatever. Yeah, 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 but the sure. bartenders got all the followers and shit, and they ain't getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I here? A bunch of sixes that are the naked ones. All the tens are at the fucking bar. Like, Lord. like what the hell is going on, man? Anyway, yo, when you when you hoop, what position did you play? Uh, point guard, shooting guard. Okay, was, I, I could. I was really a scorer, but I know how to, you know, you lay in the floor. Like so. Brandon Jennings or some shit. Monte I'm Ellis. Lefty. Not Monte. I'll say, yo, Zo, where's Zo at? Zo not in here. Millie, you was here, cuz. The Rosen. What you would say? Who you think I used to play like, cuz? In general, who I used to. Yeah, nah. Like who? He was gonna say Kobe. Kobe? Yeah. I mean, that's, I was just a. I, mean, that's, I was just an overall. I, like I said, I commanded the floor, so it was like when it was time to get a bucket, I turned that on. I, as a matter of fact, I'm lying. By my 12th grade year, I was just I was scoring without any thinking. thought. Oh, I got you. You're like, yo, this is my ball. But. Like I said, I also always had it to where I wanted everybody involved. Got you. That's what it, and that's me. Like, yo, it's crazy how basketball translates. Because if real you life. look at me, it's real life shit. Yeah. In any situation, I'm never thinking about myself. 
It's impossible. It's crazy because uh, we interviewed uh, Chris Brickley, who's out in New York. He's the trainer. He'd be training, uh, you know, James Harden and Kyrie. Yeah, I'll be seeing that shit on his Jay Cole and shit. But, you know, Cole, he trained Cole, and Cole went and did his... his did some pro shit, right? Went to Africa and played. Yeah. Would you, would, like, once you're, the, the rap shit is out of here, would you ever reconsider chasing that of dream course, again? I'll give niggas 60 on an off day. Still. Well, where would you give people 60 at? Because, I, I mean... Yeah. Anywhere? Anywhere, but not tour in the country, sound wavy. You'd have to I go mean, across. You'd have to go overseas world, to put up a sound 60, wavy. right? Yeah, put up sixty. Yeah, not in the. Yeah, I ain't no league player, cause I ain't no hooper. But you feel me? I still, I still go get a bucket. I, yeah, I, well, I saw the Nets like warming up to your record and shit. Like yeah, that had to be know, crazy. Cause, yeah, he was setting me that something like I watched Kyrie play. I watched James Harden, and then he caught the yam to it. So it was like, yeah, my shit give niggas energy on hood. Were you hesitant to do a, a sequel to Rolling and Controlling? Because I feel like sometimes that could go. It wasn't played. Yeah, it could go the other way. It That's could... why, yeah, like me, I would have never thought of that yeah, yeah. off rip. Because that to me is like, that's corny, that's pocky. Like, did you feel me? But it was naturally made, so it was no denying it. Like, and he kept saying it. I'm like, that's picture me rolling. Right, 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 he kept right. saying, no, it's rolling. But I said, right, we're going to put in parentheses because I need niggas to know that's picture me rolling through LA, through California with some bad bitches and gang members. Is that what so you shot we, this week? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or 360. How many, video, how many videos you, sh you have you shot in LA? Just that one? That one. Yeah. That, yeah. Because yeah, like, I came down, we came down mon Monday and shot it on Wednesday, yesterday. That's crazy, man. Were you a f like the other uh, biggest alleged Rolling Sixty in hip hop history? Is is Nipsey Hussle, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nipsey and shout out to my brother Jay Stone too. Jay Stone out here, yeah. South Dakota, South Dakota, the gunman. Um, me, shout gang members, Rollo, niggas know that shit. But uh, so. were you? Did you come up like fucking with Nipsey's music? Because I mean, I was on the other side. You know what yeah, I mean? I was on the other side. I wasn't heavy on it, but I fucked with Nipsey. Of course. Like what he stood like, for. Yeah. So like the music naturally hearing it correlated with who he is. Yeah. So. I just, you had to fuck with the music, you know, but him as a person, more or less, is what I looked at, like, damn, like, feel me, you, you, what you say you stand on every time without waver, so I respect that. Yo, talk about the drill scene in New York, it's, um, it's crazy right now, and, you know, I feel like, obviously, Chicago started it, UK had their way, but New York's got it right now, um, fully, um. Was that always like the type of like when you because, you know, me growing up as a hip hop head, I think of New York, I think of fucking boom bap, lyrical rap shit media, yeah. or 50 Cent G unit. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's more relatable. The first one I really that's me. Like I, I didn't I was never so in tune with music, but it was always around me. Right. I never had like a specific person I listened to on a regular. But, you know, Soka, my people's growing up, uh, Compa. That's the shit I heard. And then on the, you know, you got the R&B artists and right, shit. Right, right, right. So like me, like I said, when it comes to drill music in New York, it has hints of what was in the past, but it's a whole new wave. Right. You know, and it's, and it is, like I said, me, I grab a lot of shit, old shit and put in my tracks. You, you feel me? I grab a lot of old shit, put in my tracks. Just, just, you know, the idea of it is cool because you still paying homage right, right, to right. what was. Who would you consider kind of like the godfather of the drill shit in New York? I think Pop Smoke was the biggest, but yeah. I think he was the biggest. But I, yeah. I mean, I think obviously, obviously, shout out to uh, Fabi. I think Fabi's one of those guys. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say Pop. Pop. He he put it on the biggest stage. Oh, 100 so, percent. Know, to me, it's like that's what a godfather is. He, you know, I mean, niggas, everybody else here, they was underneath you, but you was up there. Well, I think what he was able to do, unfortunately, he didn't get to see the. Uh, success of the sonic chances he took on his new album because he changed up his you know he, he made some records that he made a lot of i mean there was barely any drill records on that album and unfortunately you know he didn't get to see that it paid off but i, I heard a lot of your records that you're sitting on and you got some of them ones so you know like you know I, and, and and another thing that a lot of people don't really know is you know pop he started out you already know he drill he could you feel me? Me too, but I was really more of a melodic from the jump. Like, I used to sing growing up. So, before my voice got the rasp and the, you know, the, and the bass in it, it was, I was a singer. I could just sing my ass off. Where would you sing it? Like church or like Yeah, just, like, I sang home? at church. I sang anywhere. Same way, wherever I am at, 
it's a possibility you're going to see me performing. You're going to hear me singing something, right. rapping something, because that was just my nature. So for me, it was easier for me to do those lovey-dovey tracks when it came time. Right, 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 right. Because right. that was kind of already your yeah, bag. It was already my bop, so it was nothing. Would you uh, ever try to infuse some of the Caribbean sh shit you came up listening to in your ho household into your music? Even, yeah, certain parts of my track, you can hear the accent on certain words, but I'm going to make a whole... Wait, I would say, um, what you need? What you need is, the vibe of it is a Caribbean. Right, right, right. You haven't heard it. Yo, he ain't hear it. Young Blue or not? Oh. Young Blue! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was just supposed to say it's that. an exclusive. So. It is what it is. The Young Blue, we Dusty Lil' yeah, King we, we, we on the West Coast with it. The Empire Avengers, give a little they have united on a song. And it is coming soon, and there's some Caribbean vibes on hey, it, I'll ladies and gentlemen. I'll you know fuck with that one. That's a crazy intro right there. There it is. Coming soon. I'm, a, I'm gonna see, I'm supposed to see Blue this week, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him about it. I'm like, I heard you, I heard you, I got one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, outside, of, outside of Blue, who else? I mean, uh, you know, who else do you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Um, everybody. Like I said before, I fuck with um, my son. Who shiesty this shit? Little baby. All of them gonna. Um, what about it? Give me a new a New York OG. Oh, new York if you OG. could pick a New York OG, any one of them to work with, who would it be? New York OG. I don't know, cuz. I'll say it, it gotta be Jay Z, cuz. How often? It gotta be. Just hey, off the straight. Nikki, if you do the video, at least you know you you you, you might could, you know, catch uh may maybe may catch catch a nip slip or something on set, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, six, oh. Maybe Fab because he shouted out Canarsie before. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Hove shouted out Canarsie. <coughs> Maybe. You know what I mean? <coughs> Shout Tom will tell. Yeah, that, that man. Well, listen, you're on your way, bro. Uh, and, and I know a lot of people are going to be in the comments and and they're going to get extremely. Uh, they, they, you're going to get the pop smoke shit in the comments, but I, I, I want to make sure that we did not talk about that. And I'm sure that that's going to yeah, be appreciate everything. That, that, but it's always love to the cause, regardless. No, of course, but you know, I, I just I think people got to understand who you are. You know what I'm saying, and what you do, and what you bring to the table, and and uh, you know I think that there, you got once these other records start coming out, people they're gonna get, they're gonna get the picture. They're gonna get it, man. And plus, you playing you paying homage to 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 the homie as well. Oh yeah, of course. So it's all love, man. But Dusty Lokane, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know my guy.